SMT Nation, we back Nation. We're doing some speed testing here in today's video. And we're going to be pinning two different phones up against each other. Uh, but we are going to be testing the Verizon Wireless Network. For the sake of the testing, we have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We're going to compare them. Indoor testing, this is in the evening during a basketball practice. All right, I know you guys like to see the indoor testing. So here we're testing N77 on Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network. First up is the Samsung Galaxy S24 on the 2005 Verizon Unlimited plan. All right, 951 down and 80 on the up for the first test. 5G Ultra Wideband, upper right-hand corner, so you guys can see it there. And that's pretty impressive speed there. Good for indoors, right? We like that. Let's go ahead and test the iPhone. Now, this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I don't have a 15-generation phone. So that's what we're going to test, and I will tell you guys, man, this thing is still a champ. Even though you've got the newer generation of iPhone out, I'm really starting to just kind of think that maybe I should just keep this one and not even bother with the new iPhone. I don't I don't know if there's much of an upgrade for it. You know, I mean, look at this performance. It's really, really good. Over 1,000 megabits per second, 1,023 for the downlink. And then the uplink, we're at like over 100 megabits per second uplink so that's pretty impressive stuff 105 all right so over a gig on the iphone so clearly you know the antenna the rf system they're very very good as good or a little bit better than even the samsung galaxy s24 which is brand new so a phone that's a year old versus a phone that's brand new all right so uh, worth noting kind of like how that played out right and um let's go ahead and just double check Let's run the Galaxy one more time, and then we'll run the iPhone again and see if things are consistent. Uh, so the second test here on the Samsung Galaxy S24, as we pin it up against this iPhone, uh, we got over the gig on the Galaxy now. So that's kind of what I was expecting, because if the iPhone can do it, definitely we should expect the Samsung to do it as well. All right, so 1,004 megabits per second on the downlink, and 74 megabits on the uplink. So we're seeing a difference in uplink performance uh you know about 25 30 percent better on um on the iphone right so or about a 30 megabit per second improvement compared to the galaxy so that's pretty it's pretty substantial for the uplink the downlink you know it's it's pretty close no big deal there it's not really that much definitively better uh here's the second test on the iphone and the reason why i like to do this guys why i run multiple tests is there's always these momentary Things that can happen on the network, like, you know, maybe there's a home internet user on the sector, and they're, they're downloading a file, or maybe there's a big pull from someone else's device. So you just got to do it, and, and that's what I think happened there, because now you see the iPhone, right, 976 down and 79 up. It's basically the same as the Galaxy. So I, I feel pretty good saying that there's not much of a difference. The performance there from the iPhone from last year is still very good, and so is the Galaxy. Uh, tell me what you guys think of this testing. Which phone impressed you guys more, the year-old iPhone or the new Samsung Galaxy S24? I'm impressed by the older iPhone. I, I really was expecting something to be different there and the edge to the Galaxy, but the iPhone did well and competed. So what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.